So in today's short video, I'm gonna make a tier list of all the anime I watched in 2020. I watched about 30 anime, which was a surprisingly high amount of like things that came out that year. I was mostly focused on catching up on all the anime I had never watched. Uh, there was some pretty good stuff last year. Um, and so I just figured I'd throw this list together, you know, see where I put everything. I'm sure some of my opinions will be considered hot takes, but that's the fun of a tier list, right? And uh, here we go. Uh, anything in S tier is just like immaculate, really good. Uh, a is like really good, but you know, not good enough to go in S tier. B is like, it was, it was all right. You know, you'd recommend it to a friend. C, it's just okay. D, it had like one redeeming quality, but the rest of it was just bad. And then F is that there's just no, no redemption, no point in watching it. Wouldn't recommend to a friend, wouldn't recommend to anyone. Dropped it or something along those lines. Here we go. So Adachi and Shimamura is the first one. I mean, it was okay. It's, yeah, it's C tier. It's a romance, two girls. One girl is basically in denial that she's gay. The other one just doesn't seem to have that many emotions. So it's one of those really slow burn animes. It was fine. Like it, it's enjoyable to watch, but at the same time, there's absolutely nothing special about it. So just C tier. Now, Akudama Drive, this one came out of nowhere. It's got a likable cast, a story that only takes one season to tell. It's really good. It's got some great action scenes, great animation, A tier all the way. Ascendance of a Bookworm, I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot I watched this anime. Like, I really enjoy it, but it's it's forgettable, which I'll put it in B tier, cause like, it's good, but it was really forgettable. Uh, Attack on Titan goes in S tier. I'm not gonna bother explaining. I mean, it's it's Attack on Titan. It belongs in S tier. Burn the Witch. When I heard it was from like the same author as Bleach, I was like, okay, this could be solid. And then I watched it and like, mm, D tier is being friendly, um, but that's where I'll put it. Don Machi season three. Now, my friend and I really enjoy Don Machi, don't get me wrong, but like season three, the direction it went was not it. That Like, I did not like it at all. I'm gonna give it, I would give it D tier, but it had a couple fights at the end of the season that kind of redeem it, so I'll give it C tier. Great Pretender, arguably anime of 2020, uh, A tier, definitely. Uh, super enjoyable, would recommend to anyone. I mean, it's con artists, conning bad people, lovable cast. The heists were awesome. Totally recommended. Complete A tier anime right there. Five Four Season Two. This is probably like my first like hot take, but like, see, it was bad. There were a couple like solid episodes, maybe like one good arc, but overall, I was pretty disappointed by Fire Force Season Two. I really enjoyed Season One, and then Season Two just. It didn't feel right. There was something really missing. So I'm going to give it C tier. That's probably my first hot take on this list. Food Wars season five. I mean, for a final season, it could have been better. It could have like had more hype or whatever, but like it, it was all right. I'll give it like top of C. Uh, I'll give it low B tier, but overall could have been way better, especially when you compare it to all its other seasons. But you know, B tier is... You know, it's all right. You know, you recommend it to a homie. God of High School, F. I went ahead and looked at the manga. It tells the story way better. If you like fights, eh, B or A tier. But if you wanted any sort of plot, F tier is the only place you can put it. Haikyuu Season 4 Part 1 was like a B. It, it was definitely probably the weakest Haikyuu has been. But it's still Haikyuu. It's really enjoyable. I never thought I would like a volleyball anime, but here I am putting it in B tier. Higurashi. Uh, I can't even... Well, I couldn't tell if it was a reboot or a remake. It's more of a reboot than a remake, but it also is telling some of the stories like the original. It's fine, but like... It's kind of lacking when you look at all the other anime out there. I think when Higurashi, the original, came out... It was like pretty cool or whatever, but like now there's a lot more like dark anime out there. If you want to see like killing sprees and stuff, you can watch something different without it being Higurashi, which is just all right. It invaded. 
huge sleeper anime in 2020. If you like Psychopaths, which I love, it's one of my S tier anime, It Invaded definitely is worth watching. Really enjoyable. I mean, it was short, but it was really good. And I didn't see like anyone talking about it, but really, really good anime. Jujutsu Kaisen, um, it's really new. So like giving it S tier is very generous, but like I could tell it's going to be S tier down the line. So I'll just give it S tier now, but like low S tier. Great show, action is beautiful. I mean, both S tier anime are MAPPA, but so is an F tier, but that's not MAPPA's fault. MAPPA just, they always animate so well, and Jujutsu is no exception. Plus, the intro and outro, I mean, if you don't have that intro and outro in S tier, you're smoking something. Kaguya-sama Love is War Season 2, uh, A tier. I really enjoyed it, just as much as I enjoyed Season 1. It's just a funny rom-com. It's got those, like, Death Note romance vibes, which was great. Seeing all the hijinks was amazing. They added a couple characters to the cast, which kept the show fresh. A tier. Standing on a million lives. I thought, oh boy, an isekai. This could be good. But at the same time, it was like one of those isekais that gives isekai a bad name. It was just trash. Just F tier is the only place to put it. I'm not even going to say anything else. Talentless Nana. Now, I'm going to give this one an A. Uh, B plus. A minus, whatever. A plus, B minus, one or the other. It was so good. I mean, the 2020 was like the year that Among Us blew up, and then this anime came out, and it has such high Among Us vibes that I loved it. Um, it was really cool just watching how things were going down. The season one finale was like A or S tier. The finale went crazy. I was so hyped by the finale that I went ahead and read the manga. The manga is pretty good. I want to see a season two, but like season one is definitely peak talentless Nana. Orasuki, the OVA that like concluded the series, it was pretty bad. I mean, the funniest part of Orasuki is like the the running joke in it about the bench, um, which if I remember correctly, they did bring the bench back at some point in this episode, which was a nice laugh, which is why I'll give it D tier. But other than that, it was just whatever. ReZero, I don't care what anyone says, it belongs in S tier after season two. Season two just completely stepped up any flaws that I saw in the show. Absolutely amazing. Some of my friends, like, they're like, oh no, ReZero season two isn't better than season one because like it's not complete or it doesn't have as much tension as season one or, you know, the plot doesn't go that far because like he keeps dying. I don't care. ReZero season two, absolute banger belongs in S tier. Everything about it was good. The opening was good. The outro was good, even though they never used them. The character development was amazing. The addition of Echidna made the show elite. S tier, no one, like, I'll fight anyone on that. Next is Rent a Girlfriend. Uh, I mean, it's a rom-com. I like rom-coms. But, like, it's not an A tier rom-com. Give it a B. Uh, sue me, best girl. SAO. I mean, I've been excusing SAO for years because it was one of my first anime, but like Alicization Part 2 was like kind of the last draw for me. I liked Alicization at first, but then it just got so dumb. Like, you know, God Mode Kirito came back and like I liked Alicization because he wasn't as godly. He was still godly, don't get me wrong, but like he was definitely toned down and there was a lot more balance in the world. But then he just comes back and like wakes up and whatever, just really bad, but it had a cool fight scene, so I'll give it D instead of F. Uh, I guess by that logic, I'll move God of High School up to D as well because of the fight scenes. Seeing Yesterday for me, F, the only Slice of Life anime I've ever watched that made me agree with the jokes that say Slice of Life anime fans are the type to say that grocery store arc went crazy. Because, I mean, this anime is literally the definition of that grocery store arc went crazy. Every single week, I would tune in and I would get to the end of the episode and I'll think to myself, nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened in this episode. And then the ending, out of nowhere, they were like, oh, you're tired of nothing happening? Here's everything in 20 minutes. F tier, whatever, just really bad anime. Snafu season three. Great conclusion to a great series, belongs in A. Uh, the day I became a god. This one belongs with all the other disappointments. Uh, I'll give it a D. 
the first maybe mm, six, seven episodes, I was like, oh, this is a pretty solid series. You know, I hear it might have like a sad ending, whatever. And I'm always down for a sad ending. And then it just wasn't good at all. Like they took it in a direction that really made no sense. And then they tried to like pull on my emotional heartstrings. But at that point, the story had already fallen apart so much that I felt no connection to the characters. A lot of potential, but it just failed in the end. D tier. C maybe, because, you know, the first half is good. But, like, the f second half is so bad that it probably belongs here. Now, Haikyuu Season 4 Part 2. A tier. Animation took a hit because of COVID. But can we really blame them for that? It was really good. Tony Kawa. People argue whether it's better or worse than Rent a Girlfriend. I say it's worse. But it's still really good. Um... You know, Rent a Girlfriend is like that, you know, more raunchy rom com. And then Tony Kawa was just like pure wholesomeness. It did have like one of the funniest scenes I've seen um, where like one of the characters was having a flashback, but then her mother like literally interrupts the flashback and was like, oh, sorry, you got your heart broken. Now go dye your hair or fly and go to school overseas hilarious had me crying from laughter other than that it's just like a really enjoyable wholesome rom-com give it a b tier tower of god f i mean supposedly you know bomb becomes like an amazing main character and the story becomes really good but until that happens i'm not moving it from f tier there was really nothing enjoyable about it we had you know Kilua minus, and then Bomb was empty, and Rachel was worst girl. It, it was just really bad. Not many redeeming qualities to that one. My Next Life is a Villainess. Harem meets Isekai meets Rom-Com. I'll give it a B tier. Um, it's really good. I mean, those categories aren't exactly the ones you usually see in S or A tier, but this was like a really good rom-com harem isekai anime so i'll give it b tier and then my bias pick because you know everyone has to have one of those i'm gonna give wandering witch high a tier three of its episodes were some of the best anime i've seen in all the anime i've watched the rest was really good elena is like an awesome main character she doesn't actually have that much personality but that's what makes the show work so well which is like a direct contradiction to what I normally like in anime, which is like a main character with mad character development and personality and all that. But like seeing the mold kind of get broken and it worked was really nice. The show even like makes a couple jokes about the fact that she's kind of lacking in personality, which I found nice that like it even embraces that. Um, it was just a really good show. I would recommend this above everything else that came out in 2020 i would probably recommend wandering witch and then great pretender akudama drive and it invaded for like new ones and then basically every sequel that came out in 2020 was like a banger except fire force and damachi really dropped the ball hey everyone i know tier lists are a little played out but i just wanted to have a little fun on friday you know how it is uh if you enjoyed the video feel free to like comment and subscribe I'll probably make a couple more tier lists in the future, and thanks for watching.